Good morning, everybody. Today, China broke another one of my understanding of how low they can go. This time, featuring a poop truck that now delivers water, like drinking water. Here we go. So this uh, is from July 10th. I'll let you watch the video first, okay? So that looks like a delivery truck, and it says on there it's for delivering water. Okay, so the letters he just ripped off, these characters, now say to suck poop. Okay, so this truck was used to basically drain sewers and, and to, uh, you know, drain the, the sewers from different roads or buildings, etc. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think that's probably the worst thing I've ever covered since covering China. And I'm not exaggerating. This is disgusting. Okay, so uh, this happened in... Uh, I'll show you the words here. Uh, this happened in... Uh, Hubei Enshu City and a netizen posted a video saying that he had previously found a fecal sucking suction truck with the words water delivery truck pasted on its body the netizens replied uh, bacillus and hygiene so it, it's a joke about how uh, well I guess Chinese people are really okay with their iron stomachs now this was you know, following what we've been covering for the past few days, which is how China used its chemical and uh, hydrocarbon compound transport tankers to transport edible or cooking oil. Obviously, that's very dis dangerous. It's poisonous to your body. And that's why China has some of the highest uh, number of certain types of cancers. All right, I don't know what that was, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to record and suddenly there's all these, I, I think it's like a lacrosse or I don't know, some sort of a women's sport event. All right, so before that video, actually, people were commenting on uh, the oil tanker situation and they were saying that as long as you don't use poop trucks, uh, we're this is the bottom line, and it turns out they actually use poop trucks to transport it. Oh my god, it's disgusting. Now, uh, it turns out, after even two days, actually this is more than two days, more than a week, of people revealing how disgusting this was with the oil, uh, it turns out people haven't been stopped doing it in China. This happened on July 10th, and this is in Zhejiang province. Anezim posted a video saying that a special tanker truck for cooking oil entered a chemical plant. Now, basically means that they went in to transport uh, what essentially started out as a chemical tanker without washing it to now transport cooking oil once again. Or in this case, it might not be cooking oil. It might be, you know, anything from, uh, oh, it, th this one is going into a um, chemical plant, but it was a cooking oil transport truck. So, the words on there says only uh, like for cooking oil only or for sp only purposes to transport cooking oil. So it should, has no business going inside a chemical plant. Now, according to the um, translation here, this is uh, Re uh, Richen New Materials Technology Company Limited belonging to the chemical raw materials and chemical products manufacturing industry. Its business scope includes refining agents, I don't know what that is. Oh, mercerizing soap, detergents, dispersants, uh, refining aids, silk refining agents. So basically industrial chemicals. And you wonder what it's doing here. For the very longest time, we didn't have actual video evidence of this sort of crime taking place. And now we do. Okay, so this is one of those cases that just happened like literally today as we speak. They're still doing this. Even after state media has been covering this, all the news outlets has been covering this. And guess what? This has been happening for a very long time. So according to this post on Sina News, the situation where they've been transporting oil 
uh, cooking oil inside these industrial tankers has been happening since at least 20 years ago, almost 20 years, 2005. And this was an article back then from, um, this is Xingui.com. Uh, Xing uh, it says, it is pr difficult to prevent cross-contamination when cleaning tank trucks after transporting hazardous chemicals and then food. Now, the, the issue here is that people that transport chemicals or hydrocarbon compounds do not wash the inside of the tankers, and then they go straight to transporting cooking oil. Uh, that is disgusting. But also, apparently, as I was reading more on this, even if you try to clean the inside of it, because it is done with... Uh, because these are like oil-based compounds, they're they don't really mix well with water-based. All right, some more details. Back in 2020 of April, uh, April of 2020, sorry, there was a study uh, called "Survey of Mineral Oil Hydrocarbons in Infant Formula from the Chinese Market." Uh, basically, if this thing, oil tanker situation of transporting cooking oil or any sort of edible oil, has been happening for 20 years, uh, this entire study makes so much sense. They basically found that from uh, 2018, they started the study, which found that 51 different brands of baby formulas in China, 17 of them tested positive for mineral oil, which again, it's not for human consumption uh, in most cases, okay? And I think baby formulas, given the fact that we know in China is a huge issue back in the days, 17 of them out of 51 is still a huge quantity. And back in 2017, this was a from a Taiwan political show, they had revealed that inside mainland China, people would use, uh, I guess this would be coal oil to cook so this is what fried dough is. You basically cook this like long strip of dough in oil and it gets like fluffy. It tastes pretty good. But if they're cooking it with, uh, I don't know what this is, coal oil or fossil fuel, that's disgusting. And of course, subsequently, the uh, when they tried to revisit this old <laughs> ancient uh, like thread from 2017, it has been deleted. Okay, so this recording here... <laughs> Uh, they so this again is uh, this is 163 news. They interviewed a transport trucker and uh, you know asking him, and his response was that the Sinogreen, which is the main company here overseeing the entire scandal, has been shifting blames around. And it just you know again proves to you that the state-run uh, state-run enterprises they're not going to take the blame for this. Uh, no, nothing concrete is going to be done. Like I saw in many comments, you guys are very smart. Nothing concrete is going to be done about this. And uh, this here uh, from the uh, like another report says some of those companies using mixed oil actually supply cooking oil for uh, Beijing University's cafeteria so uh, yep a lot of the like the entire food chain in China has been contaminated so finally uh, to kind of refute all those rumors about mixed oil contamination they finally got these poor employees to drink their products on live streams to demonstrate that they are safe to use and that it is not contaminated. These poor people. She's like, if there was problems, do you think I'd still be live streaming? <笑>我们家继续直播感谢家民族观众这个幸运啊 So basically, every uh, oil selling store has been <laughs> coming out saying that our oil is fine and it's not contaminated. But it's impossible because this has been happening for 20 years. How can you guarantee that nothing has been contaminated? You can't. Before we continue, here's a sponsor segment from Puritan. If there is one supplement you want to get incorporated into your diet, it's a good omega-3 supplement. It's the best all-around defender for your health. It reduces inflammation, cholesterol, improves eyesight, and reduces risk for heart problems, as well as helps with joint pain, among other benefits. Today, I want to introduce you to Puritan's Green Vegetables. Puritan gets their ingredients straight from the high mountains of South Korea, and the omega oils are extracted from purslane and perilla seeds. It's 100% vegan. 
Now, personally, I've been using Omega for about nine years, close to 10 years now. I've recently switched to Puritan for about a few weeks now. Here's why. We mostly get our Omegas from fish, right? But that's not the best case for everyone, especially there's the aftertaste. It might not be suitable for vegetarians or vegan. Uh, so the most important part, right, we often forget is the actual concentration for Omegas. Periton soft gels have a much higher content for omega-3, 6, 7, and 9 than many of the brands out there. And some say that they notice there's less hair loss, more energy, lower cholesterol levels, and overall improved health. I think the best part for me is the lack of information or the reduction of information. Other brands also they use this high heat method to extract the oil, which in turn creates a lot of harmful byproducts. Puritan's green vegetable is done using a patented method of supercritical carbon dioxide low temperature extraction. So it preserves the natural properties and maintains high purities. First of its kind, so get it for yourself or as a gift to your loved ones ahead of the holiday season. Use my code DZ2023 and you can receive free shipping globally. Check out my link in the description and comment today. Okay, so if you understand a bit of chemistry, you'd understand that water and oil uh, or water and hydrocarbon based compounds don't mix. So even if you try to use water soluble chemicals to clean the inside, it might not work really well. So you end up using other types of chemicals to clean the inside, which, you know, by the end of it, is it really clean? You can't really guarantee that it's clean uh, that way. So then what happens is, you know, you people just simply and also it's very costly, right? So people don't do it. Uh, now, the details don't really matter here. What matters is the fact that this th issue, how they've been transporting oil for food and oil for industry use, but they've been mixing it since like 2005. Who knows how ever long they've been doing it before. But this is the earliest report that I can find uh, online that's been talking about this issue. So what bothers boggles my mind is the fact that for the last 20 years, Chinese people, most of them, minus, you know, like the very, very minor major uh, like population, which is, you know, the CCP officials, like the top, top CCP officials, everybody has been slowly poisoned by this mix of oil. And it's disgusting, right? It's unimaginable. This has been happening for 20 years and it's not, it hasn't been solved yet. Uh, this is like worse than the 2008 baby formula situation. This is worse than anything like Beijing smog, anything like that. This is like the most dangerous thing uh, happening to the to the Chinese population. And uh, we're not seeing people getting fired for this. We're not seeing people going to jail for this. It's very crazy. Okay, so that was 2005. Uh, and then it gets worse from there because some of the factories that, that use the oil that they of course, has mixed in in the tanker uh, are food companies that pre-prepare dishes for people to consume, right? So these are pre-cooked meals that you can actually get, uh, or actually not, you can get at supermarkets, but you can also get it in restaurants. What happens in a lot of restaurants in China now is instead of cooking them from scratch, they use pre-prepared dishes. Um, and these pre-prepared dishes, they come in like these vacuum seal bags, or they come in a certain bags that you can just boil and reheat up, right? Now, you might think this is something like, you know, pre-made lunch or like something that you can just microwave for dinner, right? It's not like that. It's um, made in a way that uses so much of uh, chemicals. You have loads of preservatives, other chemicals in China. And for a very long time, I actually did a video for this. They were doing this in school cafeterias. So they were feeding kids these really chemically festered um, lunch meals and dinner meals. And so it's disgusting. So not only that, people are also consuming the mixed oil content inside the food that they're consuming um, ever since this has been popularized, which is, again, like boggles my mind that this is still happening. Okay, uh, so that was from, this is from very recent, right? This is from July 9th, uh, which they found Golden Dragon Fish, which is a company that produces these food, uh, uses it. And then back in 2011 and 2015, Hunan TV had already reported on this incident. Um, in fact, here it says, even in 2023, a driver lost his life while cleaning a tanker of hazardous chemicals. So it's quite dangerous. So back in 2011, a reporter from Hunan TV reported on the truth pursuit that a large tanker loaded with industrial alkaline, I believe that's alkali, alkali, uh, a chemical raw material was also used to load cooking oil. In 2015, a reporter from Hunan TV reported the, again, on the same, I think this is maybe a same program or different program, the Truth Investigation, that many tankers in Hengyang, Yeozhou, and other places in Hunan province 
are loaded with highly corrosive chemicals and transported to the destination. In order to save costs, they were loaded with cooking oil when they were pulled back. After the reporter collected evidence and reported, the traffic control and food safety departments in various places have launched a thorough investigation in the province, cracking down on illegal transportation chaos and strictly investing food safety, investigating food safety uh, hazards. Okay, so that last part tells you that nothing really happened afterwards. The investigation led to nowhere because these things are still happening today. In 2023, a driver unfortunately died while cleaning the tank of a hazardous chemical transport vehicle. Although some places have issued documents requiring hazardous chemical vehicles to be cleaned by professionals at designated and qualified cleaning sites, in reality, in order to save costs, some private fleet owners still require drivers to go to ordinary car wash points to clean themselves. Okay, that's what I was talking about, right? When you go to like an ordinary car cleaning place, they don't have the chemicals equipped to deal with whatever you were transporting. It doesn't just apply with hydrocarbons. In some cases, you're uh, transporting highly acidic or highly basic chemicals. In those cases, you really need to have a bit of understanding for what you're dealing with. Otherwise, you're really running into uh, disaster scenarios um, like this one. Now, what's funny is back in 2013, at the end of 2013, uh, Xi Jinping said that if food safety is not done well for a very long time, we're not qualified to govern. These are words of his, not mine. Okay. So this was back in 20, uh, let's see here. Back uh, at the Central Rural Work Conference at the end of 2013, Xi Jinping said, our party is in power in China. If we can't even ensure food safety and we can't do that for a long time, some people will ask whether we're qualified. Therefore, the issue of food safety must be given great attention and we must do our utmost to address it. Very ironic considering the fact that this has been happening for 20 years. And apparently nobody knew about it, <laughs> uh, which is funny. Uh, it is an open secret in some ways. Okay, so this is a screenshot. I'll try to roughly translate it for you, but I'll put the translation um, on afterwards. This is uh, one of a chat group of different sort of business owners that they, they have, right? Uh, so if someone posted the situation with the oil tankers mixing with cooking oil uh, might turn to a different situation. Uh, the first case is that they might not admit to it, they might deny what's happening, then they're going to blame the contract workers, temporary workers, or they'll blame the, the business partners for, for the ones who are doing the issue of, of you know, mixing, uh, shifted blames. And then somebody mentions this, Beijing News, which is the, the first media that actually investigated and led to this whole scandal being blown open, is a um, tre uh, treacherous media. They often carry the rhythm, which is a term for basically trying to start something like start a scandal or start like a, a like a rhythm of, you know, everybody kind of focus on this thing, right? Uh, so that they the consumers feel that the, the Chinese made products are not trustworthy. I uh, even feel suspicious that it is foreign uh, oil and grain companies who are targeting us. Okay, so again, they're blaming the foreign forces. So and then this screen, uh, this next comment also says uh, if there was anything to do with like diesel or some sort of uh, fossil fuel contaminated area and you ate the fish from it, you will smell you like the fish will have a bad taste. Uh, so then in that case, if there was actually mixed oil used in cooking, you'd immediately be able to, you know, taste it. Uh, this is a apparently it's supposed to be a common knowledge. Uh, nobody would do this sort of low IQ thing. This is, again, a rhythmic sort of attempt by a treacherous media. These people have been brainwashed for so long that they actually think, while they're still edit eating that mixed oil, that they're like, oh, no, no way that this is happening. This is like Stockholm Syndrome, like 100%. You have people who are still being poisoned while they're typing online saying that, no, 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 this is not the fault of the government. This is not the fault of, of the, you know, the big companies in China, but the fault of the foreign forces. They're the ones who have been injecting us with poisonous cooking oil. I think the best part of this entire scandal is summarized by this comment, which I'll translate for you. It says that although food safety is not strictly controlled and inspected, uh, entertainment and film content is heavily censored. And uh, which is very good, very true about China. And some of the comments here are gold. Okay, it says, brainwashing is much easier than washing the stomach. Uh, and then says, food, food has safety issues. Uh, the people that are harmed are us. Uh, but if anything to do with film and entertainment, if that has issues, and then it harms them. So definitely cannot do. By them, it means like the Communist Party. 
And this comment here says, uh, one, one frame has 24 frames per second, and every frame has to be magnified to look at it for anything that could potentially um, awaken the Chinese people. So there you have it. This entire story, I think, has come to the conclusion, in my view, because there's no way that something worse is going to pop up in the coming days. I hope not. But at least you know that for the last 20 years, Chinese people, including myself, have consumed a huge amount of poisonous cooking oil. And uh, apparently some people still are in denial. And that's the situation and even the reality in China today.